Hello, everybody. This is Zach here, and I'm doing something a little bit different with Pokemon cards. You know, most videos that I see online, people will be, like, unboxing new products or even vintage products. There's a lot of nostalgia and a lot of hype when people are opening different packs and boxes. But, you know, I never really see much of anything of people sharing their casual style decks or let alone even their competitive decks, you know? So I figured... I've got five decks here, and I want to share them with you guys. Maybe I can inspire some people to build their own decks of these sorts. Uh, we have a Water and Lightning, a Fairy Steel and Water, a Psychic Fire, a Psychic Dark, and a Psychic and Fighting. I almost said Fire and Fighting. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off with the... Water and electric type. Water and lightning type, I should say. Um, this is a very simple deck, you know. I should start off with, again, these are casual play decks. They are not meant for competitive play. They have cards that are no longer allowed to be in competitive play within them. So, yeah. Alright, um... We'll start off with the energies. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lightning energies. Uh, for water energies, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 water energies. And then uh, next we'll look at the item trainer cards. We've got a classic bill trainer here draw two cards we've got a super potion this is a spanish super potion but i can translate it that's why i have it in here it's kind of fun we have a normal potion another normal potion we've got one two three switches everybody likes this og switch it's such a cool art i love it all right so those are the items next we have the supporters We've got one, two house. We have a Green's Exploration. We have Blue's Tactics. We have a Cynthia. We have Professor Kukui and Professor Elm's Lecture. All right, now we'll get down to the basic type Pokemon. I'll do the EXs after these basic types because they're, they're quite different than a normal basic type. So we've got a Joltik, a Regice, a Suicune, Detective Pikachu, a Jungle Edition Pikachu, a Expeditions Goldeen, another Goldeen, a Froakie, another Froakie, a Dratini, another Dratini, and another Dratini. And then for basic EXs, we've got two Blastoise EXs and a Seismitoad EX. Both these Blastoise EXs are the exact same, just different artwork. And then for Stage 1 Evolution cards, we have here a Galvantula, one Dragonair, two Frogadiers, and... Oh, this is actually... This is a German Sea King. It, it, there's no fine print, so I'm able to understand that just fine it's horn attack and cascade and then we have yeah so two sea kings and then for the stage two evolutions we've got a greninja a dragonite and a dragonite gx so that is the lightning and water type deck it is very powerful very powerful you've got your ex and gx options plenty of basic type pokemon Plenty of evolutions, plenty of trainers and supporters, and we're chilling. So I hope that inspires some of you guys to, you know, maybe get a little bit of interest in the water and lightning type, because I love playing with this deck, although I do love playing with all five of my decks. Alright, 
I'm gonna organize the next one down the list that is the steel fire, uh, oh no, steel fairy and water type, so I'll be right back. All right, I am back. As you can see, I got it all laid out here. Um, we'll start off with the energies just like last time. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine metal energies. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fairy energies. And for water, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six water energies. And I got a I got four grass energies in there just for fun. We've got one, two, three, four grass energies. Oh, I think I said water on accident, but that's okay. You see it's grass, leaf, grass, whatever. All right, we'll go to the item cards. We've got a Team Rocket's nightly garbage run, a big malasada. We've got an energy switch, one potion that heals 30, and two great balls. And then for supporters, we've got two house, one Cynthia, one fisherman, and one Steven's advice. Now we'll move on to the basic types. For basics, we've got a Piplup, an Alolan Sand Slash, another Alolan Sand Slash, two Alolan Vulpixes, we've got a Deancey, we've got a Clefairy. We've got a Bonnelby, we've got a Starly, and we've got a Dialga. And then for EX basic types, we've got an Egg Slash EX and a Gardevoir EX. And now we'll step it up to the Stage 1 Evolutions. We've got two Alolan Ninetales, two Alolan Sand Slashes, we've got a Staravia, we've got a Diggersby, we've got a Clefable, and we've got a Prinplup. And uh, in this deck, we have a level X. It's a Dialga level X. These are pretty awesome because when you level up your normal type Dialga into the level X version, it allows you to use the power pokey bodies and attacks from the card that it is sitting on top of. So these aren't the only two powers that it has. It's able to use everything from the last card. And then for the stage two, we literally only have one. It's a Staraptor. Let me pick it up here and I'll show you that. Staraptor. So yeah, that was the Metal Fairy Water Leaf. Nah, it's, it's, it's a basis of Metal and Fairy. You know, definitely its strong suit is the Metal and Fairy. So... Up next, we have the ooh, the Fire and Psychic deck. So I will organize this. We'll get it all set up just like this, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty. Got it all organized. We'll start off with the energies for the Psychic and Fire. For Psychic energies, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Psychic energies. And for Fire energy... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen fire energies. You know, also, while we're in this video, you guys should keep track of how many energies I'm putting in each deck because the energies are very, like, reliant on the Pokemon that you have in the deck. Say if you have like a lot of Pokemon that require five energies at a time, you're going to need a lot more of that type of energy, you know? That's why we have way more fire than psychic energy in this deck. Alright, back on topic. We'll go to the item cards here. We've got a Rocket Pokemon Retriever. We've got that classic Switch card. We've got that classic Bill Trainer. We've got one, two three potions. Oh, four potions. We've got four potions. Those are all the items there. For supporters, we've got one, two house. We've got one, two welders. We've got a looker. We've got a fisherman. We got Lily and we got Cynthia. All right, on to the basic type. For basic type Pokemon, we've got a Blaine's Moltres, a Blaine's Vulpix, an Abra, 
a Mewtwo, another Mewtwo, Mr. Mime, super strong first, oh wait, no, this is Jungle Edition, Mr. Mime, Jungle Edition, Mr. Mime, if you utilize that invisible wall power up top there against, like, somebody's crazy heavy hitter GX Pokemon, it's insane, because... If an attack does 40 or more damage to Mr. Mime from the opponent's active Pokemon, no damage goes through. Just hits the invisible wall. It's awesome. Alright, we got a Drowsy. We've got two Turtonators. We've got three Littons. Then for EXs, we've got a Reshiram EX, Entei EX, and Camerupt EX. For Stage 1 Evolutions, we have three Torah cats and for stage two evolutions we have two incineroars love these boys they're so ba that's a uh, short for bad bleep i'm just kidding all right so yeah that was the fire and psychic type type deck as again i i really hope i inspired some people you know i've had so much fun building these decks so next down the list we have Oh, okay. This is the fighting and psychic type deck. So as for the last three, I'm going to organize this on the table, get it all separated, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, we're back at it. This this deck is very, very simple. As you can see, the layout is very small. Um, it's strictly for fighting. You know, that I'm not metaphorically speaking. I am literally speaking. This deck is all about the combat. Um, so here we go. We'll start off with the psych energies. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight psych energies. For fighting energies, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fighting energies. For items here, we've got one great ball, one pokeball. We've got an energy retrieval. We've got a potion classy switch another classy switch and we've got two professor's letters on to the basic type look how thick you know these are all my basic pokemon for this deck as i said it's all about the combat so we've got two sand slashes three nidorans we've got three ghastlies we've got two Machops, we've got two Diglets, we've got two Coughings, we've got three Mewtwo's, you know, we've got two Drowsies, we've got two Onyxes, and we've got a Hitmonchan. On to the Stage 1 Evolution cards, we've got one Doug Trio, two Machops, two Nidorinos, and two Haunters. And then for the Stage 2 Evolutions, we've got a Nidoking and a Machamp. And that is all. That is all that is inside this deck. Very simple. Alright, on to the last deck that I'm going to be showing you guys. It is the Psychic and Dark type. I'm going to get this organized as before. I'll be right back with you guys. I hope you're excited to see this one. Because just like the Metal and Fairy... This is my top fave. Those are my two top faves, Metal and Fairy and Dark and Psych. They both can go head to head for like hours if they want to. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back here. Yes, these are all my basic Pokemon. Yes, this deck is all about fighting as well. Very, very strong. We'll start off with the energies. We've got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 psychic energies. Dark energies. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dark energies. And then we've got two special energies in here. They're both darkness energies. Very good to add these to some maybe, maybe like an EX dark type. Get that extra 10 just for fun. All right, we've literally only got one item card that is a switch. That's all we have for items. I didn't really want many items in here. 
I love the way that this plays. I almost got attacked by a bee. We sprayed a bee's nest the other day and uh, they're very angry lately. My dad is deathly allergic to yellow jackets specifically. Um, well, not just yellow jackets. He's allergic to all bees, but we sprayed a yellow jacket's nest because they're the ones that could kill him like that if we don't get the EpiPen in. So please don't mind my fright when a big ass bee was just buzzing around my head all pissed off at me all right so for supporters we've got a few we've got a pokemon fan club we've got two tiernos we've got pokemon center lady we've got a skyla a wally a fisherman and giovanni's scheme all right on to the basic types for basic types, we've got a few of them. We've got two Gastlys, three Noi... Oh, wait, I think it's four. Yeah, we've got four Noibats. We've got two Teddy Ursus. We've got a Zorua, another Zorua. We've got two Ralts. We've got two Mistrevises. We've got an Inkay. Cresselia, Wabafet, Sableye. I love that art. That's like my favorite art of all time is that Sableye art. Check that out. And then we've got an Abzal. This guy is very awesome because his extra call right here allows me to tutor my deck for, I think, Search your deck for an EX and put it into your hand. Love that. So if I were to search my deck for an EX, I would get either the Sharpedo EX or Uveltal EX. Alrighty. For the Stage 1 Evolutions, we've got... Two Noiverns. Two Haunters. Two Curlias. We've got an Ursa Ring. Oh, we've got two Ursa Rings. And then a Zoroark. It's pretty powerful. I don't know why this deck only came with one, but it did. That's okay. We've got a Zoroark. And then for the Stage 2 Evolution in this deck, we've got is a Gengar. This Gengar is awesome. You see that, uh, you see that bottom one right there? Creep show. Read what it says. Oh, it's not gonna. Uh, it's it's not gonna focus. I'll read it to you. It says here, if your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. Like, dude, say, say, my homie had the Sharpedo EX out, and you know. I only hit it three times. It's only got 30 damage. It's down to 140 out of 170. If I attack him with Creepshow, I knock this out and I get two prize cards because of that very insanely OP attack, Creepshow. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. I've gotten so many people angry at me with that move right there. So yeah. Those were the five decks that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that I inspire some other people to create and enjoy casual play Pokemon. You know, I played Magic the Gathering for quite a while, and I've always loved Pokemon more. It's way quicker, but it also can take just as long. It has just as much fun when it comes to like, oh, I'm going to use this card rather than that card. Oh, wait, no. I don't think I want to do that because something's going to happen next turn with his card. It's got the same concept, you know? But it's...
you know, I, I grew up loving Pokemon. I didn't grow up loving monsters and, like, elves and witches and wizards from Magic the Gathering. I grew up loving Gastlys and Pika Pikas. That was pretty lame of me, you know. Maybe I'll scratch that part out. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to keep it for you guys because everybody's Pika Pika. Um, all right. Again, my name was Zach. I hope that I inspired you guys. I hope that you can take some info from these five decks that I've shared with you and create your own. Maybe you guys can get back to me and share what kind of decks you have created. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like this video, please. All right. Peace from the East. From the man who hears geese. What?